the probably premier receiver right now is T Higgins because he has officially asked for a trade. Bengals tagged him. He was like, come on, seriously, you're going to tag me after Jamar Chase goes down with an injury. When that happened over that stretch of time, T Higgins was not the fifth, not the fourth, but the third best receiver in the NFL when Jamar Chase wasn't there. This guy has been the sleeping giant on the Bengals. Everyone talks about Jamar Chase. Everyone hears the name called of Tyler Boyd, but it's just like T. Higgins. Not a lot of people give him the love he really deserves, but this is a guy who could be a number one on most of the teams in the NFL. He's officially asked for a trade from the Bengals. However, Bengals will be able to definitely get some capital back. You'll be able to get some draft picks so you can also draft another receiver, which they are absolutely electric at doing. Drafted Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, A.J. Brown. Um, I believe Tyler Boyd, too. Tyler Boyd. I believe Muhammad Sanu as well. Yep. Um, so they're definitely fine drafting receivers there. So I think um, T. Higgins, premier target for any team that is wide receiver needy. Yeah, and I think that the two spots that I think you both can agree on is – Either the Colts or the Texans. Those two, I think, would be the biggest domino, especially in that division, which seems to be up to, for grabs at this point. You pair T. Higgins with Tank Dell and Nico Collins. That offense immediately becomes a top five offense. The Colts, they get him. They also have Josh Downs and Michael Pittman. That offense immediately explodes. Those two places are my preferred destinations for T. Higgins, and I think he would be exceptional anywhere. Yeah, and we could definitely, like, you'll have that gauntlet of wide receivers there, especially you could get back Alec Pierce probably if you make a deal with the Colts there. Plus, probably you're probably going to get, like, a second-round pick. I don't know if you'll quite get a first back for him, but definitely a couple players. Yeah, and they both have the cap space to lock him up long-term and give him the deal that he deserves as well. So I think that's definitely the move to be made.